everyone I'm coming to you with a second video this week because I wanted to quickly show you guys I got the whole wet and wild this is a spring collection and it's limited edition so I really wanted to quickly get this out so that if you guys wanted to pick up any of these items you could I believe there's I bought the whole box and if I sound weird I have a cold so my voice might come in and out um I bought the whole spring collection online for $30 and I love 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 wet and wild um I just think that their products are so absolutely amazing my daughter and dog are playing sorry so absolutely amazing for um, the quality that you get for the price that you're paying yeah so let's go into the spring collection it came with a kabuki brush two um, highlighters three cheek and lip tint mega glow three eyeshadow palettes a lip palette <clears throat> And it came with a nail polish um, so I've played around with all of these products so I'm just gonna give you a review and swatches of each product let's get started let's go into the nail polish first I actually don't own any of the new wet n wild one step wonder gel polishes I am wearing it today but since I didn't have the top coat because you're supposed to have like a top coat with these gel nail polishes I just put on the Sally Hansen gel top coat and it seemed to work okay here's the color it's super pretty. It's called Periwinkle of an Eye. I would not call this color Periwinkle. I would more call this like a robin's egg blue. I really like this color, especially for spring. It's really bright, it's really bold, I like it. And it went on nice, two coats, and it's pretty opaque, so I like it. I think I might get the top coat and try some more colors out. Okay, so the second thing I want to talk about is their Kabuki makeup brush. And I always want to be completely honest with you. I don't know what this is brushes for. I did set my makeup with it with a powder today. I'm hoping that's what you use a kabuki brush for. I know that's weird because I love makeup, but I don't honestly know what these are technically used for. Um, but I used it to set my foundation with a little bit of powder. I actually really like it. It's really, really soft. I don't know how much this runs for individually, but it's got to be cheap because this whole collection was $30. So it was actually really nice. So if you're looking at getting a kabuki brush, I would look into this because it's really soft. All right, the second thing is the lip palette. This is the one thing that in the collection that I do not like. So this is the lip palette. It's got a whole bunch of little hearts. It's got a couple shimmers up here and then it goes darker. Honestly, I just don't like this. I feel like it reminds me of like little girl makeup and you can't like dip your finger because the hearts are so small. It did come with a makeup brush. And I am wearing it on my lips today. These are super sheer, like super sheer. I'm wearing this one, this bright, bright, bright pink one on my lips today. And it's so sheer. And I don't know, just the packaging. Like I could see like layering it on top of a lipstick, but the packaging is so off and annoying that I would never reach for this. Hi. To package on, um, or to put over top of lipstick anyways just because the packaging is really off for me I actually really don't like it and I just find it's really cheesy and gimmicky so this is the only thing that I do not like and I'll probably be giving this to my little girl all right the next thing we're gonna talk about is these mega glow cheek and lip tint I've actually I know wet n wild has some more of these I believe they have more of these and I've actually never used them I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you uh, there's three colors. The bottom one is Kiss Me If You Can, the middle one is Flirt on the Street, and the top one is Crush Upon a Time. Now, I am wearing one of these on my cheeks today. It is the Kiss Me If You Can. This one I am wearing on my cheeks today. It's a cream blush that doesn't go down to a powder, so it's like still a little bit sticky, it's, but it actually sh has like a lot of opacity to it, which I like. Let's put some more on just for the sake of the video. I like how opaque it is. I would just be cautious and be very gentle about putting it on because it is tends to be a little sticky. Um, you don't want to move your foundation off underneath because that will happen if you're not cautious. So I just use a stippling brush and just kind of go over it super lightly and it actually works. I haven't used it as a, a lip color, but I will in the future. Um, yeah, and the stippling brush I'm using is e.l.f. So it's like a dollar, so it's not too crazy. 
But yeah, I actually like it, but I do find that it can take off your foundation a little bit, so you have to be really, really gentle. But those are the three lip and cheek tints, and I almost want to try them on as a lip tint. And we're going to try in the same one that I have on my lip cheeks. Kiss me if you can. It's actually super opaque. I actually like it a lot better than that heart lipstick palette that I just gave to my daughter. I like it much better. So I like that you can use it as lip or cheek because then you can really tie your face together if they're the exact same color. That's kind of neat. So I will be playing with these more. So far I enjoy them. This is what's next and I'm really excited about this. They came out with two more highlighters. Now you guys know that I love their other highlighters they came out with. So they came out with two more. One is called The Sweetest Bling. And the other one is called Lilac to Reality. These are gorgeous. Look how pretty. Look how pretty those are. Aren't those gorgeous? Okay, so I'm going to say right off the bat, when I swatched these, I was not that impressed. And I was kind of like, uh, a little disappointed when I first started swatching them. And so when I swatched these ones, they felt a little dry and powdery, to be honest. But I was like, I don't care. I'm just going to put them on the cheek anyways and just try them out. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty on the cheeks. I can't even tell you how excited I am. So I'm going to put some more on. Hopefully you guys will be able to see. Just so you know, I'm using the pink one, the sweetest bling, just because I'm using pink everything else. I hope you guys, can you guys see that? I was so shocked when I put this on my face. I am actually so excited to play around with this lilac one. So if you pick them up and you swatch them and you're kind of like, meh, put them on your face with a brush. What brush did I use? I used the Morphe R36, this kind of domey looking one. But it went on so beautifully. As you can tell, it's got like this beautiful sheen and it's not sparkles, but it is so, 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 so pretty. Look at that. So if you can see, find these in your store, I'd pick them both up. All right, and aside from the highlighters, these are probably my favorite thing, and it's the Wet n Wild eyeshadow trios. I already own quite a few of them, and every single one I own, I absolutely love. I'm gonna swatch them all. I am wearing two on my eyes today. This one is Hieroglyphic Heart, if you can see that. I am wearing this one in my crease today. I'm gonna swatch these for you. This is the only one that actually comes with a legit matte shade. This like mauve shade in the middle is the only matte shade in all the trios. I wish that each trio always came with a matte shade. They're still great. They're still great, 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 great. Um, this is the one that I'm actually wearing all over my eyes besides that crease color that I just showed you is Heart and Heavy. It looks like this. It's got this great shimmer shade, a plum shade, and a pink shade. And I was actually super shocked by how opaque it is. That's what I wore on my eye today. And it, they're seriously just beautiful. I'll swatch this one for you too. Especially when you get them wet. The only shade that I don't really like, to be completely honest, is the light shade that is the brow bone. Because the opacity of it is just terrible. You'll see. See, this is the light shade. It like doesn't show up at all. That's what I'm wearing all over my lid, and that's what I'm wearing in the outer corner. Okay, the last trio that it came in that I'm actually super excited to play with, I think I'm going to wear it tomorrow, is Will You Marina Me. I think those colors are so pretty. I just wish this was a MAC. Here is Will You Marina Me. I'm so excited to use this one. That is all of the Wet n Wild Spring Limited Edition collection. So if you like any of these items, I would run out and try and find them because I know they're going to go fast. I know you can still purchase them online, but I'm pretty sure they're almost sold out. So I would try and get your hands on the things that you wanted. I would definitely pass on this heart lipstick. I think it's kind of gimmicky and dumb. Unless you want to get a cute Easter basket for like your little girl. That actually would be pretty cute and they're cheap, so no big deal. All right, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.